In the first video about loops, we looked at the while statement. This time we'll be looking at the for statement. It has a different structure, but the basic purpose is the same. Both while and for are ways to repeat a section of code multiple times. The while statement used a test to determine when it would stop executing. The for statement will execute once for each item in a list. The simplest way to see this is to hard code the list into our program. Let's count from 1 to 10 using a for loop. We can do this by typing for count in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do on our next line. And then the body of our loop. In this case, we'll print out the count, so we'll write echo dollar sign count. Finally, we can close our loop using done. It's important to note that count is a variable that we just created. It gets assigned to the next item in the list each time we go through the loop. Just like all the variables we've used this semester, you could name this variable whatever you like. Let's run this to confirm that it works. It does. You can see that the numbers 1 through 10 are printed to the terminal window. Writing out all the numbers like that is a bit tedious. Fortunately, there is a shortcut when we want to use a for loop for counting numbers. We can use an open brace, the first number in our sequence, two periods, and the second number in our sequence. So I just modified our loop to use this abbreviated syntax. When we run it, you can see that it does the same thing as before. Occasionally we want to count by something other than ones. To do that we can add two more dots and an increment value. If we change the increment in our loop to two, then it will count one, three, five, seven, nine. For loops are useful for counting, but that's not their only purpose. In fact, it's probably not their main purpose in Bash. For loops can loop over any sequence, including the results of a command or the contents of the file system. This last option is one useful feature of a for loop that we're going to look at today. If we use a wildcard character in the sequence part of our loop, it will automatically loop over files in the current directory. The wildcards work just like they do with the ls command. Let's change our for loop to loop over all of the files in the current directory and then print the name of each one to the screen. Note that I am changing the variable name not because it matters to bash, but because it is important to always use variable names that accurately describe what they store. When we run this modified loop, we see the name of each file printed to the screen. There are several other ways that for loops can be used. I encourage you to explore further on your own.